I found out I had cancer as I was boarding the flight to go to my little brother's wedding. Walking down the jet bridge as my radiologist told me, you have breast cancer. I didn't want to tell my brother because it's his wedding weekend and I don't really want to interfere, but I'm a bridesmaid and I now have to stand and be in this wedding and be involved heavily with this wedding, obviously, while knowing I have cancer and hide it, pretend like it never happened for the whole wedding weekend. How did I feel? Honestly, numb. I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse for seven years now and I kind of just reacted like it wasn't even happening to me and it was just happening to someone else and just relayed the news to my father like, oh, I'm getting on the plane and I have cancer. They didn't tell me any details. They just told me I have cancer and they would tell me in about a week what kind and then someone would be calling me and to just enjoy my weekend. I texted my friend and said, well, I don't know what to do. Should I eat an apple or drink some water? Like, how does one prepare? I went through the entire wedding weekend keeping it a secret. It made the weekend really hard because I was so low energy and I was so stressed and I had so much on my mind that I really didn't like want to go to the events. Obviously, once I was there, I had the best time ever, but I didn't really like want to get out of bed. I didn't tell them until after the honeymoon because I really didn't want to ruin their wedding or their honeymoon. And they were in total shock. They were like, we never knew had a success there. Obviously made the wedding a lot more emotional than it probably would have been otherwise, although it would have been emotional, but just it was extra emotional. I just kept thinking if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out with a bang. They don't tell you anything that they're gonna do about it. The radiologist just calls you and says, you have cancer. And so you really are left with zero answers except for the most daunting news of your life. And you kind of question if you're like, gonna wake up from a really bad dream because nothing makes any sense. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more about my story on this page. So if you wanna hear other completely and totally unhinged crazy shit, just follow along. Little Tuesday vlog. So I was off this morning to see physical therapy. I'm now four weeks out from my double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. So I have full range of motion in my arms. I'm still working on mobility a lot. And then strength training will come around six weeks. I'll hopefully get back to normal by eight weeks. Then I went and got breakfast, got a matcha, spent some time because I had another appointment in the afternoon. So I went around the park and walked. Been trying to walk more lately. And then I went to see my oncologist and we got a nice follow-up plan and then hung out with my friends and we went to trivia night at our local brewery and got some pad thai and it was a good day. I was shooting for something today and it required me to like look back at my hair and the progress. And oh my gosh, holy moly, what the f was this? <laughs> Cancer is so, so crazy. It took so much from me. This is probably like the least of my worries of what it took from me, but it's actually crazy to see the changes to like how much growth I have now. Like so much growth, so thick, so healthy. It is just the biggest confidence boost to be in this phase where you get to like have regrowth and like feel good again, not be being beat down and pumped full of toxins and literally looking at my hair every day and just like dreading, dreading what would fall because it would inevitably fall every single day and it would shed so much and you'd wake up with so much hair on your pillow and like, I just really, anyone going through that, just please let me be your beacon of light at the end of the tunnel that it does get better. Some people would just say, it's just hair, blah, da da. Maybe it is for some people, but for me, it was so much more than that. It was my identity. It was how I felt beautiful. It was just so much more than that. And to have it come back is chef's kiss. Progress is crazy. I just wanna give that hope to anyone still going through it. Like there is hope. And even when you don't feel the hope, I'll hold it for you, okay? Obviously having cancer, it's bad, especially when you just got the news. But worse is you getting the news before your brother's wedding. I mean, how would you react? What would you prioritize? Would you tell to your family? Would you hold that as a secret? Would you tell after the ceremony? Would you not tell at all? Would you call them first thing? I mean, there's so many questions, so many possibilities on how to deal with this situation, but none of them is a wrong answer, you know. I don't blame her. I think she did well on waiting for a brother to get married and not to ruin the party in a way, you know. Obviously, it's not a fault. Unfortunately, some people, they get cancer and sometimes they don't even know where that comes from. 
she says that in the beginning she didn't even know exactly what type of cancer was it so she was just really focused in making a brother happy you know i think i think that's fair enough i think she was just trying to protect a brother in a way to give his dive because his wedding is supposed to be a beautiful day full of memories but from the bright side right and i do understand why she made this decision of holding back this information until the wedding goes and even after the honeymoon so she could say this sad news to his brother and probably to the whole family at the time but they end up having a lovely day on the wedding you know she said before she was not very feeling like to go to the wedding which i completely understand i mean imagine you're having a bad day and you just don't want to go to work or to a party in this case everything is amplified because it's just not a bad day like a bad normal bad news per se she found out that she has cancer and also the event is her brother wedding you know that's a huge event that's something that she really wants to go but unfortunately due to the very bad news she was not feeling like it which i understand but then she said she was going to the wedding anyway because she just wanted to care about her brother and his happiness and i think that's beautiful you know she's putting someone else's happiness on top of it and in the end of the day, she already has cancer, and unfortunately, the bad news are they are what they are, and she cannot really change things at the moment, or at least that day. So she would rather delay the bad news for that day or even a week because they went on a honeymoon afterwards. So she decided to wait one week so later on she could tell the bad news and um, the brother was completely in shock. He had no idea that she was going through this. It must have been really hard for her to hide this stuff and then especially from a brother and a family and even though they didn't realize anything so she, she was trying really hard not to be transparent and show the feelings but after the honeymoon she decided to tell her brother that unfortunately she got uh, cancer and they all know now so it's just a journey through to be strong and go through this bad phase and now hopefully with the all support from her whole family everything can be a little bit more easier you know when you have people around you um, to give you strength to carry on, things might be very possible to happen.